Let's all get together. Who's ready to make some money? Yeah. Okay, all right, good, that was easy. Look, let me show you something, right? Let's just take the entire world. And, and by the way, you can go ahead and flip your video on, right? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and flip the lights on and the video, right? Everything you, everything you do in your life, you should go through, put it on video. You know why? So you should look back in a year from now and say, holy man, I remember that day when everything changed. As you look around right now and you see all the lights in the room, right? This is the time that takeover starts in your life. This is when it does. And some of you guys, it's not your first time here. Let me ask you, anybody that this is not their first time here and they're returning again, the first time you came, did your life change, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, now watch this. How many people in your life have you been around and you watched them, did they truly change your life? Not many. It's just the truth, right? The reason why we can change our lives in this room is because we're real. We're real and we're raw. And we're going to go out and we're going to get everything they said we couldn't have. And I'm going to tell you this at the end of the day. That little light, that little light that's on your phone right now, that, that represents you, your family, your dreams, everything you want. But everybody else in the world says they have the same dream. They, they got a family just like you do. What's the difference between you and them? What's the difference? You know what they do? They don't shine. Like that little light right there that's on. Look, when they go out and they speak to people and they talk to people and they sell and they close, they don't sound any different than everybody else. If you want to get what everybody else isn't getting and you want to earn in the top 1%, if you do, you're going to have to shine like that light. <laughs> Listen to me. I want you to understand this and this analogy why I flip those lights off real quick. Because when you go around, do you look like that light in a dark room? And people are like, my God, when this person speaks, number one, I never want to buy anything that I buy for the rest of my life except from this person. I never even want to hear anybody else talk to about selling something other than this person. Matter of fact, every single thing that this person says, I want to do and I want to do it right now. You can't even ask them to buy because they're already asking you, how does this work? What do I need to do? That's when you know you're the best. And how do you get to that stage? Number one, you realize you're not near as good as you thought you were. That's the first rule, okay? What you do is you throw your entitlement in the trash can, okay? You never be arrogant again in your life. You never be cocky again in your life. And you be more confident than you've ever been, ever. But listen to me, you can't carry around this swagger and this confidence if you're gonna speak the same as you did in your old life. It just doesn't work that way, okay? Look, I want you to look in the mirror. If you look like a kid and you wanna be like a man, guess what? Cut your hair, change yourself, dress like a man, you'll look like a man. If you want to be a woman that wants to dominate in the man's industry, which the automotive industry is, but it pays the women the most money that are great and skilled, yeah. learn the skill, learn it, learn it, be the best. Take the time to study while everyone else is looking at bull reading magazines. You're sitting at home studying, reading word track cards, figuring out how to say common things in uncommon ways, learning some new language that people that work in other stores don't know how to say. And by the way, listen, there's no middle ground in sales. Either you suck or you're the best. That's it. Okay. Or the middle ground is average. And I'm going to tell you this. I refuse for anybody to call me average, but I'm going to ask you a question. What do you guys think the average, the average auto income is in 2021? The average. Number one, I said in 2019 when we released the zero to 100K course that we were going to take thousands of people making over 100 grand a year. Well, what happened is we built salespeople up and they've gone to new levels. They've learned the business. They've mastered the craft. A lot of you still speak the same way you spoke back in 2019. You're just working harder. Would you guys agree? You've decided to commit, but you speak the same. Every time you sound a little bit different, you get different results. What does that tell you? That the Trojan horse, the Achilles heel on how to take our competition out and for you to become filthy rich and make your customers love you, love you, give you everything they have because they love your service. Become a public speaker. Learn how to speak. Learn how to talk. Look, I want you to envision two things right now. You guys know what a heart monitor looks like when somebody's in the hospital, right? You know what one looks like? What happens when someone goes dead? It goes flat. You know what that line looks like? It's like a flat, straight line. When you speak and you talk to people, do you sound like a flat, straight line? I want you to think about it. Or are you alive? Is that heartbeat jumping, popping, 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 popping? And I can look at the monitor and I'm like, holy cow, man. 
this person's alive more than ever is that you if you're a manager in this room right if you're a leader in this room if you're a sales team leader in this room and you got people that look up to you if you're not inspiring and motivating them what the F are you doing are you kidding me and by the way everybody in this room is a leader every single one of you should want to inspire number one all the people around you to have a better life because you're going to get a better one it's just the right thing to do but if you work against me and you're my enemy I am going to give you reasons why you should quit I'm going to become so good that you're going you're going to want to quit because I'm going to get better every single day for the rest of my life and by the way this isn't some saying okay this is called the real one percent or life I'm gonna explain something to you a million dollars in the bank it sounds like a lot of money guys it's nothing it's nothing I'm gonna get that into your head right away if you could obtain the skill that God made you to already have and you just take the time and stop being fucking lazy and learn it and learn to be disciplined and by the way what, don't you guys want to triple down on your mental toughness? You know, I watched some people today in the workout, right? And when shit got hard, you were ready to tap out. You were ready to leave. I look for opportunities in life to prove my mental toughness. When something bad comes my way, I'm thankful for it. Some of you are complaining. Look, if you really want to be the person in your life that you want to be, you're going to have to have that same exact mentality and attitude. When something hard comes, you're like, good good now I've got a chance to prove that I can freaking beat this look man no dude people don't get remembered in easy times people get remembered in hard times okay when your family's back against the wall and they need a miracle and you can come through with it now you're a fucking legend okay I'm just telling you all right and some of you you don't have that legend in your life you really don't and that's the reason why you need to come through more than ever because it needs to be you and your family